Hello everyone, welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So this time what I am going to do is how to add different attack animations for each weapon. And for example, when we have, yeah, uh, first I'll equip the sword and with the sword we have these animations. And when I have equipped the sword, uh, not the sword, axe, we have this animation. Let's try the combo attack. Okay, so as you can see, these are different animations for each weapon all right let's get started and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you are giving me that means a lot to me okay the first thing I need is I need new animations for the attacks with the axe because we originally initially we designed our attacks to work with to suit this sword and now I'm going to find some animation which matches the X so okay uh, first I'm going to use this one stand in melee attack this looks more like a, some attack with the X so I'll download it without a skin. Also this one, stand in melee attack. Uh, it doesn't have any other name, the same name. So this one also, without a skin. And for the combo with X, I'll use this one. Actually, this is the one I have used for the combo with sword. So in, even though it doesn't, it is not a sword attack. I have used that already, so I'll use this one instead. And I'll import those animation into this X folder like this. All right, so these are the animations. I'll create any montages with them. For each of them, I need an any montage because that's the one I'm going to play in my character blueprint. Okay, let's take the first any montage. I have to set up few things as I have done with other attack animation montage. Let's see first what are the animation, what are the things I had to, yeah, like this. I have to first disable movements and enable movement then and attack moves and check hits. So I hope you remember what each of these things does. So for, I'll do a quick reminder, a uh, quick brief. So this disable movement basically disables the character's movement with input keys like WSAD. And this enable movement uh, basically re enable to ability to move. I am doing that because it looks odd when the character moves while performing the attack. So and this attack move means whenever in this frame this character will have some slight forward momentum added uh, that is just to increase the impact of the attack if you don't need that you can get rid of that and also this check hit so this is where we check uh, that if we have actually hit the enemy so this is the notifier that fires the check hit event right so we have to set up each of them in these three montages as well I'll do one here 
let's disable movement uh, not movement here and after this point let's enable moment and we should check heat somewhere right here check heat and also we needed I'll put the attack move here and also I need that swoosh sound so I'll play sound what is that sound if you want you can use a different sound for the X so that there will be some difference between X and the sword but for now I don't have any other sound so I'll use the same one okay and similarly I have to do the same things for the other animations as well well I think I'll do them off screen because uh, no point showing the same thing again and again it will just it will only take time alright so I completed this event setup and animation notifier setup for the second attack now the third attack this one here this is since this is the combo we have to check uh, the hit in two places that means first I'll disable movement here and enable moment here and this is the first place to check the at hit and this is the second place in the second hit I'll do a check hit here and another check hit here let's add two swoosh sounds as well here and here swoosh Okay, and also I need to attack moves. I'll add one here. Attack move and another one here. Okay, so that's all for the animations and now let's open our character this is the character ch human actually not the character I should open the weapon blueprint so yeah this is this melee weapon this is the parent weapon and it is the sword and this is the BP axe so here I think I have created variables to yeah these are the variables for combo attack and regular attacks so for these two combo attacks I'll put this one first and this one for the second attack and this is the combo attack compile time to check 
right so i'll equip the second weapon and yeah as you can see the attack animation is different and let's try the combo attack yes that's a different animation and to show the difference i'll show the first sword attack animation as well right so yeah so i guess you see the difference all right so that's all i wanted to show you guys today and as always the updated project files will be available in the my in my patreon page and also if you want to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon page and depending on the type of membership you get you will have uh, different privileges like access to source code and asking questions uh, participate in the polls things like that okay so in the next episode uh, let's uh, look into how to have different properties like the damage level of each weapon and also the different sounds to each weapon so basically customizing the weapon properties uh, per weapon okay uh, see you guys in the next episode goodbye